Hello, trading is closed on March the 14th. Last night we said the pattern was negative, but I thought we would move up first without overtaking this high. So we moved up at the open, didn't overtake the high, had a negative pattern. Had an optional target, we came nowhere near it, so we'll forget it. During the day, as the market was dropping, MJT said ultimately higher prices would print but that the move was false, that they would retrace to or through these lines and find support at that level. And all that's worked and we have nothing uh, holding over until tomorrow's trade. We dropped all day, but we couldn't close under any of these lows. The pattern's positive unless we invalidate it by capping and promptly taking out these lows. The general idea is that this was the high of the leg. However, we've dropped down two, but not through major support. Here's the trend line. Here is the 50 day moving average. The rule is when you come down two, but not through support, you either gap under it or the support wins. Here's the Fibonacci levels from the recent drop. Here's your 78.6, that's resistance. Here's your 61.8, that's support. Same idea, we dropped down to support, but not through it. If you look at this last leg, it's not as strong as I thought it might be. There are different ways to count it. Not all of which we can show, but if you count this as five waves for one, and that's two, you can make a wave three pretty much equal to wave one. And here's your five waves, and if you look at a two minute chart, you'll see an ending diagonal triangle. But it doesn't have to be wave three, it could be wave one of wave three, it could even be an ABC. There are different ways you can count this. All of which suggest we're going to move up early tomorrow, and all of which get killed if we gap down, take out these lows instead. So, the overall pattern's negative. I expect this high to hold. It doesn't mean we go down in a straight line. Tomorrow's pattern is the one with the early low. If we don't, Promptly take out these lows, ideally by gapping under them. We should trade higher first. But if we do gap under these lows, then we've broken through major, major support. And I still think the major trend is going to be down. And that's today's call.